Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we will see how we can create a double donor chart in Power BI, which will help you show more than one category in your donor chart. So let's get started. We have our data here, which is related to our project. So we have project ID, project name, team lead, start date, progress, status, and so on and so forth. So let's first add our double donor chart in this report. So for that, you will see that in our visualization pane, we have only one donor chart, which is here. We And we cannot convert it into a double donor chart. So this is the one we, that we will be using is actually a custom visual. And in order to add the custom visual, we will go to these three dots and we will select get more visuals. And it will load the custom visuals that are available to us. Here I will search for donor chart and you will see a lot of these will appear. Now we have to search for the one that we will be using, which is here. I will select this. Let it load. And you see, this is how it will appear. So you will have double categories that you can show in your donor chart and you can change the color and we will see how we can format it. So this is free of charge. I will just simply go and click on add. And now the Power BI report will import that visual. Now, now it says it's import successful. The visual was successfully imported. Okay, we we'll click okay here. And we will go and try to add this visual on our report. We'll just select this. Let me expand it a little. Now we have category, subcategory, and value. Now in the category, let's add status. So we will add status here. In the subcategory, let's add uh, notification, uh, sorry, location. So I will just drag the location. And in the field, we will just have the count of projects. So now you see that we have done and uh, we have New York to uh, completed in New York. In Texas, we have two. California, we have two. And here in South Carolina, we have one. I will just change the name here of number of projects. So now, if I go back and hover, number of projects. So category, subcategory. You can also change the name here if you want, but let's leave it. Now we will go to format your visuals and see how we can further format them. If you want to keep the legends or if you want to remove them, uh, let's remove them for now. But if you want to keep them, you can also uh, set the position, font size and the color. In the category color, we have them here. Let me expand it to the full page so we can see. And the done, let's make it green. So now you see the subcategory are also the shades of the category. So this New York, Texas, California, South Carolina, they are shades of green. In the on track, let's try and make it yellow. And in progress also, we will make it a different shade of yellow maybe. Yeah. On hold, let's make it pink. And delayed will be uh, red. So this is how you can see it's showing. In the outer ring setting, you can set the font size, font, let's make it a little smaller. You can set the label color if you want. We'll leave it family, weight, style, decoration, stroke color, and this. Similarly, you can do the same thing for inner settings. Inner uh, ring settings, the font, uh, you can format the fo font if you want. I will just leave it. We can reduce the radius a bit. If see how it looks.
yeah and let's just increase the font size and maybe no not 13 let's make it 11 and let's keep it like this in the label settings you can have these are the labels that we have if i just remove it completely it will look like this you can also set what will appear in the label so label name data value percentage of total data value percentage of total label name data value label name percentage of total so for example if i select label name and data value this is how it will look like you can also set the display units decimal places let me just go back and we will just add the label name so these are the settings we can set uh, for the formatting that are available at hand for this uh, uh, visual if i go to general so it will just show how you set up any power bi visual in the properties you can set the size in the title we have the title here i'll just or maybe just okay, let's add double don't chart and we can bring it in the middle and let's add a background color to it and yeah it's done so we have added you can format the title if you want we also have subtitle divider spacing in the effects we have a background we can add i'll just remove it we don't need background but we can have see if i remove the background you can see how you can also see the visual that we were covering let's add a visual border and a shadow and let me just make it like this so and then you have data format header icons and alt text so this is how you can create a double donut chart in power bi i hope this video helped keep watching for more and don't forget to subscribe thank you